Well, you know, I think people like to see worlds they've never seen before, and, and the ballet world hasn't really been dealt on film for a very long time. And, you know, like The Wrestler, where everyone was like, why wrestling? It's just a joke. And we went behind the curtain and showed sort of what, what it was about. We really wanted to get behind the curtain of ballet and show all the effort that makes what you see on stage so beautiful and effortless. And that meant all the psychological torment, all the pain. The only person standing in your way is you. During The Wrestler, I, you know, I work with Darren on a permanent basis at Protozoa Pictures. And as we rode to and from set, we would talk about our various projects we had in development, and uh, Black Swan being among them. And um, through the course of those conversations, I ended up sort of developing a, a take on the material. Uh, and, you know, the result of which was Darren basically giving me the go-ahead, the criteria being ballet and uh, Swan Lake were sort of the two starting points. And so my, what I did essentially is look at the story of Swan Lake and try to adapt that. Why it's interesting for a dancer is the dancer gets to show so many different shades of herself as the queen swan. She gets to play the innocent, uh, the, the scared, afraid bird. When she becomes the black swan in the third act, she gets to play a seductress. She's evil and, you know, and she's trying to seduce and to fool um, her love. He promised to feature me more this season. Well, he should. You've been there long enough. And you're the most dedicated dancer in the company. You know, I'm never really happy with what I do, never really satisfied, but I don't know if I'm necessarily a, a perfectionist because I think our art is different. You know, being an actor, you're portraying people who are naturally imperfect, you know, so we're trying to portray imperfection. Um, whereas dancing, there's a much more objective sense of perfection you can get. Mary Helen Bowers um, started training me a year before the, the film started. And then six months out, when this movie was really happening, we started adding in um, hardcore training. Like, we were swimming a mile a day. We were toning so that my body could get, um, could look like a dancer's as well as having the actual dance training. We wanted to get a level of the dance world that was convincing so that you didn't even think about it and you could just get lost in the sort of psychological drama of what she's going through. And, and that, was, that was hard because sometimes I had to feel really confident to be able to do a turn right, but I had to be acting really insecure. So the, the combination of the, the physical challenge and the emotional challenge simultaneously was, was definitely um, one of the biggest feats, I think. It was a tall order to ask someone to um, you know, become a ballet dancer. You know? It takes 20 years to become a ballet dancer, and uh, she had a year to pull it off, and she did it. And 90% of the dancing in the film is her. She got up on point at 27, which is a remarkable accomplishment. And um, not only that, she was able to actually emote and express herself and, and, and feel alive while dancing, which, you know, most people, you know, we'd be staring at our feet wondering if we're not stepping on someone's toes. From the stage, everything is, is just elegant and, and lovely, you know, and, and when you're um, in the audience, you're, you're away from, it's not like being up close. It's interesting in this film because Darren gets up close with the camera and you see her sweating and you see, you see the real work. We, we definitely wanted to get out of the wings of the theater, you know, which is how ballet's always been shot and get on the stage and dance with them. And um, I thought that would be really important, not only just to see what was going on on Natalie's face, but to really capture the energy of, of dance and to understand the effort, how difficult it is to hear the breathing, to hear the straining, to hear the communication between the dancers. Um, so from the beginning, I always knew I wanted to get the camera up and close. What's interesting about the ballet and what people don't really think about it, because most people think pink when they think ballet, is it's actually, most ballets are really tragic and scary and gothic and there's demons and monsters. And uh, when you translate that into cinema, you know, you can start to do some really scary, frightening, unsettling things. <laughs>